back to McDSP TV. All of us here at McDSP are thrilled to present the EC300 Echo Collection. Echo Collection. Echo Collection. Echo Collection. The EC300 brings the sounds of numerous echo effects into a single, sleek, and versatile plugin. The three delay types, magnetic, digital, and analog, have a plethora of user controls and features, character modes, highly stylized user interfaces, and is backed by nearly two decades of MacDSP's gear modeling experience. Each EC300 delay type comes with additional character modes to help you create new and unique sounds. Other delay features include adjustable saturation, wow and flutter, delay output ducking, filtering and EQ, and level controls at the input and output stages. The EC300 can operate in single, dual, and ping pong modes, and delay times can be synchronized to session playback or to a tap tempo. It is available in mono and stereo versions for AAX DSP, AAX Native, audio units, and VST. So whatever type of delay you need, the EC300 Echo Collection from McDSP has something for you. The EC300 features three different delay types, all with their own distinct sound and style. The first delay type is called Magnetic and emulates the sounds and features of classic tape echoes from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Whether you're looking for a warm, dirty, or clean sounding vintage delay, Magnetic has you covered. The second delay type is Digital and offers users a more modern, clean digital delay, but don't let the clean looks fool you, it has a dirty side to it as well, which we'll explore more shortly. The last delay type is Analog and it features the grungy, dirty sounds of the 80s analog delay pedals used by countless guitarists and keyboardists in the music industry. Not only does it offer a variety of delay options, but it can be tweaked to provide lush chorusing effects too. At the bottom of the EC300 window are the Delay Toolbar Controls, which offer several global controls. The Delay Type allows you to choose from the Magnetic, Digital, and Analog Delay Types. The Delay Character allows you to choose from various algorithm adjustments. These choices change with each Delay Type. The Tempo Controls allow you to follow the host session tempo, or by selecting BPM, you can click in the Tempo field and enter a BPM value. You can also click on the Tap button repeatedly to set a custom tap tempo value as well. Use the Groove Slider to adjust the timing of the delay sync to be slightly ahead or behind the time sync source. When using the Note mode, Groove values of plus 100 or minus 100% scales the delay time forward or backwards to the next highest or lowest note value. The Delay mode allows you to choose from single, dual, and ping pong modes. In addition, all three delay types have numerous global settings such as the delay value, width and offset controls, feedback, mix and spread controls, high and low filtering controls, input and output gain controls, and finally the dynamic section which features either a ducker or a compressor for the output signal. The compressor has a fixed, fast attack and the amount control sets the level of compression once the input signal crosses the threshold value. A setting of 0% disables the Dynamics processing altogether. For gain reduction metering, click the meter to toggle between output and gain reduction. All of these settings will retain their values when switching from one delay type to another. There are some controls that are only available to certain delay types. With magnetic, there is wow and flutter controls, which provide low and high frequency modulation influenced by magnetic tape material. There are also high pass, low pass, and mid parametric EQ controls for in feedback loop processing. Loop processing means the signal is processed while in the feedback loop, and post means it is processed after the feedback section. The digital delay has four EQ modes to choose from that offer a variety of tone shaping options and can also be set to process within the feedback loop or post loop processing. 
The most unique feature the digital delay has is the SIM option. We have taken 75 SIMs from our critically acclaimed sound effects plugin, Futzbox, and added them to the EC300, so you have an abundance of effects possibilities to give your delays a distinct sound without having to utilize any other plugin resources. This feature can also be set to process within the feedback loop or post feedback loop processing. There is also a bit depth control that can be used to create lo-fi bit crushing effects and a modulation section with three LFO shapes, mod rate, and depth controls. The analog delay also has the same modulation controls found in the digital delay. All of the EC300 controls are automatable, allowing you to create amazing effects to take your next project to another level. Now let's check out some examples of the EC300 at work. For our first two demos, we'll utilize a couple of the vocal tracks from our music bed session. We'll first focus on adding some lushness to the lead vocal in the chorus section, and then we'll spice up the bridge section that follows it. Let's take a listen to the whole section with those two parts dry. Note there are other effects on the backing vocals and instrumentation, but we'll only focus on the lead vocal. Yeah, I call the shots. You just took a lap, but baby, who the boss? When I call the shots, when I call the shots, it's a nerve for you when them shots come through. When I call the shots, when I call the shots, when I call the shots, it's a nerve for you when them shots come through. For the chorus section, all we want to do is give the lead vocal some more lushness to the part, so we will use the smooth sound of the magnetic delay type, set to single mode as our foundation. Let's leave the tempo control on host to follow the session BPM and set the delay value to quarter note. Since the plugin is directly in the vocal signal path, we'll set the mix control to 33% and leave the feedback at 20%. And let's listen to just the vocal. Yeah, I call the shots. You just took a lap, but baby, who the boss? When I call the shots, when I call them shots, it's a nerve for you when them shots come through. We're getting there, but let's narrow the width since there is some backing vocals spread wide. Then let's give it some more character by driving the saturation. And let's put some compression on it too. Let's listen again. Yeah, I call the shots. You just took a lap, but baby, who the boss? When I call the shots, when I call them shots, it's a nerve for you when them shots come through, through. Lastly, let's warm it up by changing the delay character to warm tape and roll off some of the highs and lows with the filters. Now let's listen in context. Yeah, I call the shots. You just took a lap, but baby, who the boss? When I call the shots, when I call the shots, it's a nerve for you when them shots come through. When I call the shots. That really rounds out the lead vocal. Now let's focus on spicing up the bridge section. Since this example is utilizing an effects loop and has a few more moving parts to it, I've taken the liberty of writing some automation ahead of time. To give it that spice we're looking for, we'll use another EC300 on the aux return set to the digital delay type with the mix control set to 100% wet. We'll enable the sim section and set it to post feedback loop operation and we'll use one of my favorite sims, Awesome Cell, set to speakerphone. Let's set the delay mode to dual. Again, we'll leave the tempo on host, but we'll set the note delay values to half note to fill in the gaps between phrases and bump the offset between the two delay lines to around 15 milliseconds. I have already taken the liberty of automating the width parameter to start at 150% wide and centering it by the time the next phrase is repeated to give the delay image a trailing effect. Finally, we'll add some compression to keep it from popping out too much. Let's listen to it soloed. When I call the shots, when I call the shots, when I call the shots, listen there for you when them shots come through.
And now everything in context. Yeah, I call the shots. You just took a lap, but baby, who the boss? When I call the shots, when I call the shots, it's a nerve for you when them shots come through. When I call the shots, when I call the shots, when I call the shots, it's a nerve for you when them shots come through. Excellent. For our last demo, let's take a look at how the EC300 is being used to recreate a vintage chorus effect on this guitar part. This EC300 is using the analog delay type set to dual delay mode, and we are using the custom BBD delay character. Both delay 1 and 2 are set to time values of 23 and 23.9 milliseconds. For the modulation, the rate is at the default of 1 Hz with a depth of 33%. The keys to this effect are the use of the triangle wave for the mod type and setting the spread to 90 degrees. For the spread to work correctly, we need to make sure that the width is at 100% and there is no offset amount selected. And lastly, since we have this instance in the direct signal path of the guitar track, we have the mix value set at 50%. Let's hear the passage dry. Now wet. One more time dry. The EC300 Echo Collection offers audio engineers a wide variety of unique and great sounding delay options in an easy to use and powerful plugin. With three distinct delay types to choose from and a wide variety of controls to manipulate them with, the EC300 from McDSP would make a great addition to any type of audio production workflow. Visit mcdsp.com forward slash downloads to get your copy of the EC300, install it and click the try button to get your 14-day full-featured demo today. Thanks for watching McDSP-TV and have a great time mixing.